Hi guys, I hope you found the last video helpful showing you about the new Piscal app uh, and learning a little bit about the program. As promised here, I'm going to show you how to create your own Sprite. So today I'm going to be creating a little mushroom extra life growth item from Super Mario Brothers, uh, while at the same time showing you how to use some of the various tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to start by using uh, the circle tool, which is right here. I'm going to make sure that I'm not on the 16 pixel size. It's a little bit too big, so we're going to go right back and choose one pixel. I'm choosing the color black for now. That's going to be my outline. I'm going to click and pull out a circle. There we go. This is going to be the top of this hat. Now, as you see, it's also really not centered. So what I can do is I can use a little move tool right here. Here, it looks like a hand. I can click on this and just move this into the frame a little bit more. I can make it nice and centered. There we go. Next, I'm going to show you a tool that's very, very helpful, especially when you're trying to make sure that your picture is even on both sides. So instead of counting exactly how many pixels in or over each side needs to be. Right next to the pen tool, there is this tool called Vertical Mirror Pen. So what this is going to do is every time I make a mark on one side of the page, the program is automatically going to make a mark on the other side, making a nice, even design. There we go. I'm going to fix the hat here a little bit. So you can make this design, you can make whatever design you want. I'm going to back in, use my eraser. Erase here. Use my vertical pen tool again. I'm going to go in and make the eyes. There we go. So if you're an old gamer like me, you'll remember what this item is. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to make this white. These are going to be some of the little circles on his hat. There we go. There's one, two, put about four or so of these little guys. There we go. All right, so that's the circle tool. That's the vertical mirror tool. I showed you the move tool. Now I'm going to show you paint bucket tool. Same as any program, paint bucket tool is going to fill in areas of contained color. So I'm just filling in right inside of my circles. I'm going to change this color. I'm going to make the cap red. Same thing, fill in the areas and there we go. Now if you notice if there's little areas like this see it's closed off on either side so I need to fill in those little areas on their own. And there we go. And last color skin tone. Now for this what I'm going to use is a orange color but if I make it a lighter value it's going to create a skin tone. There we go. You can also color in the background. Let's make this a nice, nice blue. There we go. So as I said in the last video, uh, whenever I choose colors, they're automatically saved to this palette right here. So all the colors, the black, white, red, uh, peach, and blue are all right here in the palette. So say for example, if I left a little spot like right here, uh, blank, I can easily go to my palettes choose the color that I needed instead of having to go to the color picker and try to figure out exactly what color I was using. Simply right here. So that is it for creating the, uh, the sprite character. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you quickly how to save your simple sprite. Off to the right here there is a little uh, hard drive disk uh, looking image. If you click on that you have a few different options to save. So you can save it in your gallery, save it in a browser, save it as a 
Piskel, my suggestion is simply just save it to your gallery. You're logged on anyway. Click save. And it's as simple as that. If you go back to my gallery, there is my little sprite and we can name him if we want. I'm just going to leave him like that for now. If I want to go back and work on him, I simply just click on the sprite. I can edit sprite and come right back to the screen. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to animate your sprite characters.